I ain't say shit, but I have to do what I have to do. Cause she don't have no kids or no family or nobody. So I have to uh, do that shit. But that ain't nobody problem. That's not your problem. That's not, it, I'm not making it seem like it's nobody problem. The only thing I'm mad about is I got the money all together. I got the money on all my accounts. Only for y'all to sit here and see me be happy about a rental agreement and post it on YouTube and call them in. To post it on YouTube is one thing because all my shit is posted. But for y'all for, for y'all to call his phone is messed up because I'm trying to get my kids. My auntie have to not take care of my kids. She have to go handle her funeral. My other auntie funeral. My auntie that's watching my kids right now is the same auntie that's taking care of my other auntie that don't have no kids. That always been by herself. She don't have no kids. She don't have no husband. Never been married. Never had no boyfriend. None of that shit. Mind you, she was sitting on the bottom of her stairs for two days and didn't nobody check on her or nothing because she don't have nobody check on her. She in Ohio by herself. She died two days ago, so... I got. I have to look, send some money. So even though I didn't have my money for my little security deposit, so I could move, it wasn't. No, I already just figured in my head, I'm going to make it right back because I know how I am where I just make my money right back. And even though it took longer, it I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning. I think that's why I'm so pissed because I stayed up till 4 a.m. And I got back on here at 7 o'clock this morning. That shit crazy. I've never met a group of people who sit there and just just come up with different scenarios, events. Like, what? This is, this is oh my God. Y'all sure know how to do it. Like, can y'all get some fucking jobs? I'm so like y'all my heart is literally racing right now I got anxiety about this shit bro I just want I just I just need 21 to know this if she got approved for this house she gonna get approved for another house bro it's 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 not gonna be the end like don't don't talk about you gonna hurt yourself or hurt someone we don't need to speak those type of words because of the devil don't let the devil win bro don't let the devil win this is the devil trying to interfere. That just means God got a, maybe, maybe God got a four bedroom house for you. Maybe God got a five bedroom house for you. There's a reason why this happened. So we just got to channel like some positive energy and understand what's really going on. Like we can't, we can't dwell on this. Like fuck that man. Like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like there's probably a five bedroom waiting for her. Shit. It may be six bedroom. She may have, she may have be able to all her kids to have one, their own room and and a, a fucking guest room or whatever you know what i'm saying like there's always a reason behind everything so i don't want her to get to, in a horrible depression to where she feels like it's the end of the world it's not the end of the world it's the end of the house and that's probably it's probably a reason it's probably ghost in that fucking house y'all we gotta think about it. it's the reason why some shit didn't go down like you know what i'm saying like it could be anything but y'all not finna sit up here y'all not finna y'all got me at first I'm not gonna lie, you got me at first. Y'all got me and my feelings, but I'm at I'm in a vulnerable state right now because I've been training myself not to give a fuck about y'all words. You know what I'm saying? Just to like get into I don't talk about my kids on here. I don't talk about my family on here. I don't talk about that shit on here. That's not nothing. That's a joke. That's real shit. When y'all get y'all self inserted, now y'all getting real content. Real shit. Not no fake shit. I'm gonna get my money back. I don't. I'm not thinking about it right now, cause I don't have nowhere to stay. That money ain't gonna do shit for me. I'm gonna pay for my hotel room. I'm trying to find somewhere to stay. I already had it. I literally had a house where I didn't have to worry about no credit check being ran or nothing. I literally just put up my credit card in my account.
put up my bank account statement. And this is what I texted him, y'all. He literally got me. He literally let me sign that, uh, the lease and everything. Let me find his phone number. This is literally what I texted him, bro. He literally took this. This is how this is how much he trusted me, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I text him this picture right here. This is the income. Now give him okay, whatever I spend is whatever. But in the last twelve months, that's what I made. So that's what he took. Mind you, this is not my only bank account. Y'all know I do cash out. Y'all know I do uh trying. Y'all know I got Robin Hood. I got uh checking 360. Y'all know that's not my only bank account. So when I made that in a year, he told me to send everything over in PDF form. I sent him my Chime. I sent him my Bank of America. I sent him every account, all my money, bro. I sent him everything just to verify. I'm a social media entertainer, but I'm going to get you your money every first of the month or when I need to get it to you. I don't care if he just said I'm a double your security deposit. I felt like that was a test at that point. When he was like, I'm a double your security deposit because your, your, your credit is only 675. I was like, okay, that's a fucking challenge. Okay. Let me go make this shit. He was like, do you have it? I was like, I'll have it in the morning. Boom. I came on here last night and today, made the money just for y'all to fuck some shit up. It's not fair, bro. That shit not fair. It's not right. It's not right at all. Now I feel like I gotta like. Now, now he watching my YouTube videos. Now y'all sending him videos in like y'all was doing my old apartment complex. Now I gotta worry about him. He just said I can't smoke in his house. Y'all gonna send him videos of me smoking if I wanna smoke in my own house. Y'all got his number. Possibly gonna find out my location by knowing his name or where he's the locations he owned. Now I gotta find a whole different location. It's not even just about. 21, don't take the money back. Don't take the, the lease or whatever back. Uh, I mean, don't get the money back. It's not about that. Now it's about y'all know where I stay at, just like y'all did in Detroit. Now I got to find a whole different location. And this time I can't even be happy about what I didn't accomplish. I got to keep it a secret. So if, if my apartment is more than this, or if my house is more than what I've already had and made, I'm just going to have to come on here and say, I need weed money. I'm going to smoke it up. Because if y'all know I need lease money or rental agreement money, it's going to be a problem. I did want to stay there. I did. I like the house. I really did like the house. I did. That's why I'm irritated. Because I thought I was going to get it. Well, I did get it. I did. Why am I? Yeah, I mean, I'm drinking. Because y'all pissed off. Y'all pissed me off. Now I got to go look for a whole new place to stay. Hey, 21. I was so happy for you when you were saying that you was getting a house. I don't know. These people are so weird. You know, you know, I just wish the best for you, but you don't need to stay in someone's house that trying to control you on what you're doing in your house. Probably God work in mysterious ways, you know, to open up your eyes because he's already characterizing you on what you doing and he already looking at videos and stuff if he is doing that and already characterizing you and that's not right you know that's not right like you say he wanted more money you know what i'm saying that's crazy it's and not, crazy. To turn it's not crazy around. that's somebody that was working with me and he said my credit score was 675 he was going to take it you don't even know what the house looked like bro it was a house that, it was a nice house bro that I never even expected to get. So 
good for y'all to sit there do, for whoever did it. No, not me. I don't do that. I don't do that kind of stuff because I I was so happy for you when you were so happy on here saying that you was going to get your house. That is amazing because you try to do the right thing in life. You know, it always a summer blocker. Somebody trying to hurt someone, and that's why I don't like this app. That's why I would never become a host on this app because people do some cruel stuff to people on here and it made me just want to delete this app period because that's crazy you trying you trying your best you know i have grandkids i have kids and i understand you was trying you're trying to do the best and people trying to harm you that is bad that is bad people is just weird on this app I see a lot of people losing their pages because of what people money is the rule of evil on this app. But I just wish the best for you. Gotta make a way. All right, hon. Love you and keep your head up. All right, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, babe. Hey, boo. I, I had text you. Uh, we get time just look at the message. Okay? Yeah. I mean, that's fucked up whoever did that. Everything in their life is going to go bad. So, if you're going to go over there, just make sure you just go over there with an open mindset and, you know, not to be drinking, not to be drunk. When you go over there, get some money and stuff back. Hey, hey. Okay, so I'm praying for you. So that went through a lot. My daughter got her first apartment and everything, but you just have to watch what you do on here. If somebody is praying on your downfall. They don't want you to, to rise above and do what you got to do. Now they're going to be talking about how you, you know, back in the hotel and all that. That shit's crazy as hell. But I'm glad they don't do credit check up here for any houses or apartments up here. I see a lot of people say, I guess, when they live there, they do credit check. But, yeah, they don't do it here. Well, you can either, you can get a good house at the credit score of a 550 or, you know, a mm -hmm. 600, no shade. But um, yeah. I came up here to say 21. Um, inbox Cortez, your phone number, baby. He asked you to inbox him your number so he can talk to you and build some inspiration, you know, give you some inspiration yeah. um, into your situation or whatever. But um, inbox him your number, boo. That'd be good, love. I love you too. You keep your head up, and you know you call me if you need anything. Okay. I still don't understand how y'all message him so fast, man. I don't understand that shit. How everything happened so fast? How I signed my lease agreement, and then like 15 minutes later, he was already getting the call. I don't understand that part. Like, if I was at a hotel, yeah, but I'm just looking at how this is a house. I'm not nuts on here because these motherfuckers get on my nerves. Every time you put something on here, they screenshot it and they put it in the group. So don't put nothing else in. Don't show these motherfuckers nothing else. Okay? So they put the, they put my bank statement. Yeah, it's in mine already. That's what he said. My shit was on YouTube already. He said he didn't want to be in the, the social media like and have people come into his house. So I kept telling him nobody's going to mess with him. And he won't listen to me, bro. He won't listen to nothing I say. I keep telling him nobody's going to come to his house. He told us, I don't want to be in social media like, I don't want to, like, what? I told him before I got there that that's why I was moving. I say I'm moving because people already know I stay in Detroit. So I thought he like really understood that part. How people call me and stuff. And it's not just that, it's the hotel rooms. Even if we go downstairs, yo, you could talk to a lady. She'll tell you that. She gets so many calls every day from this room. I know she looked at me when I came in here. I know she probably Yeah, they they they, they get so many calls. I told her don't let nobody don't let nobody call my room, like it's just crazy, bro. 
I don't know why everybody trying to figure out my location, bro. This shit crazy. I could be standing outside for 10 minutes, bro. 20 minutes. Anywhere I go downtown, anybody gonna pull up on me. People put, like, the junk. This shit weird, bro. Shit weird. I don't, I don't even want this shit.